Well, we know the family is absolutely devastated, but they have so many questions, too, in terms of the investigation. Police are still trying to piece a lot of things together themselves, but the family has questions relating to how can something like this happen when their daughter tried to do the right thing. She led with her heart. She uh, would give you the shirt off of her back. She was always helping people. LaDonna Kim says that's exactly what her daughter was doing when her life was stolen from her over the Labor Day weekend. Family members say 27-year-old Donna Wilbert was gunned down at Hollywood Coney Island on Detroit's west side early Sunday morning, not long after she tried to break up a fight. We had to even tell her, like, you can't pull over in your car when you're by yourself because you see somebody people. on the road <laughs> and they need help because it's dangerous out there but she was kind of like the type of person that would have to like try or see for herself. It started with Donna and her girlfriends having a fun night out. They went to the Coney Island for a bite to eat when an argument developed between two men and a woman according to sources. She just wanted everybody to go home and get home and I'm very sure in my thoughts of knowing that she wanted to get home. I guess the guy followed her out and she was able to get herself out of the restaurant and she was shot in the parking lot. Although we couldn't actually touch her, we went to go view her based upon the circumstance. She even had a smile on her face as we had to observe her in her last state. She was doing the right thing, and that's what angers me. Detroit activist Pastor Mo works with many community groups teaching de-escalation techniques to quash beefs before they ever can turn violent. He offered this advice for safe conflict resolution. Make sure you're in a lighter area. Uh, read body language. Look and see if they're reaching. Look and see if there's anything poking out their waist. Uh, look at their type of demeanor. If this is the kind of person that they would have a weapon. If this is a working class person who maybe got on work clothes, you might can reason with them. This somebody with a hoodie on, I'm not trying to judge anybody, but this is somebody who looks like they could be dangerous, menacing, or just don't care. Be careful how you approach somebody who could be having a mental breakdown. Meantime, Donay's family is determined to make sure her legacy lives on. I just want whoever did this to know they took away such a bright light that shined on so many different people. Everybody that she ever talked to will remember her because of just her great shine, shine. Just her personality was amazing and she was amazing. And no known arrests have been made. Police are still investigating, and they ask anyone with any information, anyone who may have seen something, no matter how small of a detail, to call Detroit police. We're live at the 8th Precinct. Dave Kinchin on the edge. Yeah, Dave, it seems uh, so tragic when she was walking away in the parking lot, nearly free of this situation, to have it take such a turn. Yeah, that's right. And police do have some surveillance video from the actual restaurant. We did talk with the owner of the restaurant, so he said police are looking at that video, trying to get more information. So hopefully some leads will come from that. That's very critical in all of this. Yeah, and hopefully some tips come in. Thank you for that report as well.